Hey there, it's Brianna Christine, and I'm back on another video to answer a question from C Monster about how to draw eyes and jawline. So we said we were struggling with these two things, so I'm gonna talk about concepts that you can use to feel better about when you draw a jawline and when you draw the eyes, things that you can think about as you're designing your drawing or as you're just having some fun. So here we go. Okay, so here I am inside of Procreate and I'm gonna go through a couple iterations of this drawing as my base. I'm gonna show you what it looks like as she gains weight, as she gets skinnier, talking about the jawline, what it means when eyes come closer together and farther apart, and then how eye shape plays a huge part in just our overall character drawing. So here I am showing a thinner jawline. So she kind of looks like a fairy, right? So when you're thinking about how to draw, you want to think about what are you going for? Like what look are you going for? What when you're as a designer, I'm always thinking like, what's my intention? What am I trying to do here? Am I trying to show that she's bigger? Am I trying to show that she's smaller? Am I trying to show that she has this face shape where the shape is rounder? Or does she have a more narrow face, a more square face? What does that mean to the person viewing the character? Is it just for me? Just for fun? Because I want to try a round face versus a square face. I've never tried that before. Or is it for someone else and they need this particular shape? Okay, so that's just a couple things I think about as I'm drawing jawline. The next thing I'm going to talk about is eyes. So right here, I'm talking about where eyes can be close together and far apart. This also can help um, determine age. So uh, typically putting the eyes farther apart can make someone look a little bit younger than if you put the eyes closer together. I'm putting the original up on the left hand side there, so the, sorry, that's the right hand side, so that you guys can see the differences between also the different eye shapes and what that implies as you create your character. You wanna make sure that whatever eye shape you're gonna go with, it's in context with the rest of the drawing. And so that's why I see a lot of drawings, uh, a lot of tutorials on Pinterest just showing eyes, but they don't really show you the rest of the context of the drawing. And so make sure that whether you go with a simplistic look like this one here or more uh, complex look like the one I went with in my final drawing, that it matches the rest of the feeling of the drawing. So that's what I want you guys to think about as you're drawing eyes rather than just like, how many eye shapes can I draw? And I hope you guys enjoyed that video on jaw lines and eyes. If you guys have any questions about anything I talked about in this video or about Procreate, just leave a comment at the bottom of this video. And if you like this video and you wanna see more of them, hit the subscribe button. Until next time.